ba ba dee ba ba hello to you and you and you and you. I'm glad you're here. We love doing this show. We love hanging out, spending time together in this way. And every episode begins with a book we want to hype and make sure you know about. Open Wide, Tooth School Inside by Lori Keller. Good morning, class. Good morning, Dr. Flossman. You're all clean and bright today. Let's begin by taking attendance. Hmm, eight incisors. Here, 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 here. Hmm, good. Four canines. Ruff, 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 ruff. Eight premolars. And 12 molars, including the four wisdom teeth. Yep, we're here. Present, 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 present. Oh, goody gumdrops, all 32 of you are here. Be sure to check out the book, Open Wide, Tooth School Inside. Today's theme is teeth. Teeth. <laughs> teeth. That's so cool. Teeth. Technically, uh, for me, as a robot, I don't have teeth. But that's all right. 32? Wow. 32 teeth. That's fascinating. And different types of teeth. Hmm. Well, for today's opening song, tell us something you do in the morning after waking up. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't get up in the morning. Ha ha ha, classic fairy, not fairy tale, nursery rhyme. Okay, ready? It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't stretch in the morning. La la la. La, la, la. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed, and he couldn't eat breakfast in the morning. La, la, la. La, la, la. He bumped his head when he went to bed, and couldn't drink coffee in the morning. La, la, la. La, la, la. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't say a prayer in the morning. La, la, la. La, la, la. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't give a bird a bath in the morning. La, la, la. La, la, la. He bumped his head when he went to bed and he couldn't... I was waiting if anybody was going to say, couldn't brush his teeth in the morning. La, la, la. La, la, la. <laughs> See if you come up with more. Keep that going. By the way, the melody of that tune there, the way I was singing it, was the Danny Adlerman arrangement. They've got a book called It's Raining, It's Pouring, and they sing the song. They love it. La, la, la. All right. Right now, as always, it's time for... Today's message from Moby. Did you know that the shape of animals' teeth tell us what kind of food they eat? <laughs> yep, herbivores are animals that eat only plants, and their teeth are wide and flat for grinding their food. Carnivores are animals that eat only meat. Their teeth are sharp and pointed for cutting through their food and swallowing it in chunks. Omnivores eat plants and meat, so they have both wide flat teeth and sharp pointed ones. <laughs> cool. I had no idea. There are so many different types of teeth, but it makes sense. The teeth do what they need to do. Yeah. Well, friends, it's time for today's three-sentence story, beginning, middle, end. And the three words come from you. That's right. I get to come up with a short story. 
three sentences, technically. And the story, the sentences, they're inspired by three words. In particular, we love person, place, or thing, aka nouns, for this game. And this is something you can play any day, anytime. You could play it like we're playing it, or you could write down a bunch of words, pull the words out of a hat, either on your own, with your family, with your friends. You could do it through technology. You could do it over the phone. You could just, you know, you get the idea. But we set the scene in the first sentence. Then in the second sentence, there is a problem. And in the third sentence, there is a solution. There's always a solution. We just got to find it. So... Who's got an idea for today's opening word? Oh, braces. All right. I woke up this morning and the first thing I did was I cleaned out my braces. <laughs> this is pretend because remember I'm a robot. I don't have teeth. So since I don't have teeth, I don't need braces, but I'm just pretending. Um, you know, I'm, 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 yeah, you get the idea. So I woke up and the first, it's like our song. The first thing I did was I started to clean out my braces. But oh no, there's a problem. Butter. <laughs> butter to the, but that butter causing trouble again. All right, here we go. This morning I woke up and the first thing I did was I cleaned my braces. As I was eating some toast, the butter melted off my braces. No, it was too hot. Not again. Hot butter. It was the toast was too hot, which then the butter got too hot and it melted off my braces. No. How do I solve the problem? We need to save the braces. Butter. Hot butter. Do you ever have that problem? Hot butter? Oh, fish. All right. Fish to the to the rescue. Okay. This morning, I woke up and the first thing I did was brush, or the first thing I did was clean my braces. As I was eating breakfast, the toast and butter melted off my braces. No! My goldfish looked at me across the room, tossed me some paper clips, and I built myself a new pair of braces. <laughs> um, don't try this at home. No. <laughs> I guess that's one. Will that work? This is not necessarily a good solution. You know, sometimes there are solutions, and sometimes there are really good solutions, and sometimes there are less than good solutions. Using a paperclip to make new braces, that goes in the not so great solution. But there's our words braces, butter, fish. <laughs> Well, friends, let's see what Michael's got going for today's Wimage in the Grand Rapids Wimage Lab. Hi, Michael. Hey, Wimmy. How are you? <laughs> well, I use paper clips to fix my braces. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm not sure if that's a good solution. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not in Grand Rapids today. Oh, I noticed. Yeah. you're. Tell us. You want to share more? So I am in um, North Carolina. I'm driving to see my sister who is in Atlanta. Nice. So say, say, hi. say hi to your sister for us, okay? I will. I will. And but the show must go on. So my <laughs> twin and I, we pulled, we are currently in the back of Applebee's. Oh. And um, so this is one of the stories that um, eventually when Disney decides to invest in Wimmy we may have to write a book about. So I'm in the back of an yeah. Applebee's <laughs> location in the yeah. back of our car, making sure yeah. that our fans and family can see <laughs> the, uh, the show. There we go. I like it. So um, <laughs> show must go on. So here we go. Yes. Um, all right. I got all the words. All right. And um, this is what we got so Ooh. far. Oh, 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 there's the goldfish throwing me a paperclip. <laughs> <laughs> the not so wise solution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's the butter off the toast. It does look hot. It's melting right off the toast. I see that. It is. And if you can look up in the sky, it's raining teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it is raining teeth. Have you ever had that happen to you? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> and if you can look inside the car, the car is a um it's a driving mouth. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice. 
Yeah, your brother's driving your car though, right? You said yes. Not, not the teeth. No. <laughs> yeah. Not the teeth. <laughs> not the teeth. Ooh, no. Should we add anything to the picture? Um, you know, by the way, uh, the show's going. I think we can add anything. <laughs> <laughs> floss. I like it. Kylie says floss. floss. That'll awesome. help. That's good. That's a can you help that's me? a good. So can you help me spell floss with me? Yeah, yeah. So friends, just like Michael's doing, you can add more words. You press the plus, plus sign, and then you type it. F-L-O-S-S. -S. There it comes. You can also use voice dictation. Different possibilities. Friends, you can download the Wimage app for free in the Apple Store on iPad. and make your own Wimage. Yeah. Ooh. So that's what we got. Oh, the driving car is flossing. <laughs> but not yeah. while driving. No, not while driving. Wimmy, you can do a certain type of floss, can't you? Oh. <laughs> it's the other kind of floss as well. <laughs> we should have put that in the show. Oh, the dance party. We'll the do the floss party. at the dance party. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the Andrews family loves that fish. That is a happy fish. It is. It's a happy yeah. fish um, with a not so good solution. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you have, did you, what, what solution would you, we could revise it. Any other ideas for how to fix my melting braces? Um, I don't know. Go to Applebee's. Oh, <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> uh, you can buy a salad instead of eat toast. Oh, <laughs> that's not solving the problem. That's just working with what you got. <laughs> Sometimes that is yeah. the school. That is. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Well, Michael, we'll see you at the dance party to do the floss. And um, we'll see you then. Bye, guys. All right. <laughs> All right, friends, it's time for today's Language Explorers. And today we visit with Corinne from the Academy of Art and Design to find out how to say today's words in French. Hi, Corinne. Hi. Hi, Wimi. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Did you see Michael? He's got a uh, butter melting off with a fish and teeth driving car. <laughs> so. so the first word was braces. And um, so this this is going to be very long in French, but oh. we can, we usually will we, we won't always say the second one. So it says appareil dentaire, and you can recognize in the in the second one it means dental, oh. and you can recognize it because you have dent uh, in the same that's the same word. So in French we say tooth is dent. And the dentist in French is dentiste. So you can find the same uh, the same origin, the same word as in French. So we say yeah. but very often we just say appareil. So we, uh, we say we have, we wear an appareil. Gotcha. Uh, and the second one was butter. And butter is very similar to as beurre. So you can yeah. see we have a few common letters, but it's kind of scrambled. Um, so you have the B, the U, and the R that you, and even the E, but it's just like, you know, as if it were scrambled. So it's the same origin again. So beurre, beurre is, um, um, butter is very important in France. Uh, as you know, it's the basis of uh, uh, pastry, of pain au chocolat. You need to use it and it will change the taste. But where I am from, southern France, we don't have that much butter. We don't have cows. So we have olive oil. That's what grows um, olive trees. So there's a big line um, in, in the middle of France where people stop eating butter and they start wow. having olive oil. So that, that was in the old days when you ate only what grew next to you, really. So yeah. uh, you didn't have cows there. So... No cows, no butter. That makes sense. And uh, the last one uh, was fish, and fish is poisson. So I was trying to think of a word that comes from poisson, and that would be the same in English. And it was really, I cannot find a word that is the same. So I looked up. So what I do when I don't know a word, um, I'm not sure I want to know the origin of a word. I went to see uh, Merriam-Webster, uh, which is the most famous, uh, I think, American dictionary. Uh, okay. And I found out, you know what? So both fish and poisson have the same origin. And it comes from uh, pieces in, in, in Latin. So, um, and 
false it's really hard to think that this word gave the same croissant and fish, but it, that's what they say, and I'm sure they are right because it's Merriam-Webster. Yeah. So yeah. you know, fish got became fish and croissant, and that was I thought very, very strange, but hmm. it's the same yeah. word. Words are fascinating. It's so cool. Like you're doing, looking up the root of the word and the history yeah. and how I words love, are similar or different. Yeah, I love dictionaries. And I, when I was growing up, I went to my grandmother's and we, so in that, those times, we didn't have those great libraries we have today. And we couldn't download, you know, ebooks because there was no internet. And I'm um, that old. And um, she had, but she had a dictionary, so I would read the dictionary, uh, which is, um, I, you should try. I, I advise everyone to do that because you'll find words and it's so, it can be very entertaining. Well, if you like words, I guess. I think that's a great idea. That'd be a fun thing to put on our show, actually, is just like, turn the page in the dictionary and what word do we find? It's like a yeah. scavenger, or a, not a scavenger, because we don't know what we find until we turn the page. Yeah. Hmm. I'm inspired by this. I'm going to think about this. Yeah. So what's happening at the uh, Academy of Art and Design these days? So Academy of Art and Design has such a cool um, website. So I invite everyone to have a look at their website. Uh, it's really pretty too, you know, really cute uh, painting here. And because we have artists, real artists there, and they have so many lessons to offer. They have Art and crafts, they have uh, coding, they have languages, um, both group lessons and uh, tutoring. I know a lot of people these days, the kids doing virtual or having so much time on our hands because there's not that much we can do outside of the house, but maybe it's, um, it's an opportunity to learn new things. So I advise everyone, I encourage everyone to go and check out what they have to offer. It's really, really cool. And they have, I would do that if I were not too old, you know, for, for um, old people like me, but they have K-pop dance. So I think that would be really cool. Nice. Man, so much good stuff. Oh, I love it. Thanks so much, Corinne. Thanks for being on the show. And we will Thank talk you. to you soon. <laughs> I love it. Friends, definitely check out the Academy of Art and Design. Such good stuff. Well, friends, it's time for Tech Talk. <laughs> hi, Colleen. Hi, Wimmy. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing today? We are doing just fine. Yeah, I'm still thinking, though, of another solution for instead of the fish throwing a paper clip. Um, yeah, do you have any ideas for a better solution to the braces that melted off? Um, I don't, but I do yeah. have an idea for how to, like, if you put words on a page, how to make them prettier. Whoa! Or design them different, or design them differently, or change them. Yeah. Let's talk okay. about it. Okay. So last week, um, we Corinne, 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 Corinne. and I um, were kind of talking a little bit about um, about uh, cursive people yeah. learning cursive and uh so i had a i'm bringing up a page here on my word document to show cool. how fonts are basically like different ways that you can design the letters of the alphabet and you can change how the abcs look on a page so you can see on the top one it's called sans serif it means it doesn't have any little curly cues coming off Ooh. the ends like you see in cursive Oh, yeah. That cursive is called a serif that connects the letters to one another. And if you're on a laptop computer and you go, this is Word, but you can use any word processing in the fonts. Can you see that? All these different Whoa. ways that Lots you can them. make words look. Exactly. Um, and it's changed over time. Um, the one I like the best is the one right here on the bottom. Teachers love. It's called Comic Sans. And so that's that's a favorite one that you probably see your teachers using in school. But yeah. the cursive one is this one here where they're all linked together. So how you can find all of these, you can actually add them to your computers. 
If you go to a couple different websites, um, sorry, let me bring it up here. Okay, we're in StreamYard and I need to go to my cursive site. There we go. Okay, so this one's called DaFont, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. And if you search, what I did is I searched on cursive and you gotta watch out for ads. These are these are ads that um, you have to kind of pay for. But if you go down a little further, you can see there's actually free ones. It tells you right off to the side here whether or not you have to pay for it. The third one down, the Cursive by Luna Daisy, that's 100% free, 100% free. So yeah, so you just download them to your computer and then they'll show up in that list of uh, fonts that I showed you on my word page. So Defont yeah. is a great one for finding. And then the other one that um, uh, Corrine showed me that's actually in French Ooh. is Resources Primaires. And this one, we'll put a link to it in our Wimmy show uh, in the nice. comments. But this one shows um, that cursive, you usually learn with lines. So you know which letters go above the line or touch the lines above and below it. Nice. So all, all great ways to uh, sink your teeth into, whoops, whoops. Let me get back to you guys. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> <laughs> All great are. ways to sink my yeah. <laughs> All great ways to sink your teeth into um yeah, making your words prettier. And then you can also use apps. If you're using a phone or an iPad, there's apps that um use fonts, change your fonts. So look for that too. Fonts are so cool because you know we play with words a lot, and then sometimes letters, and the letters make the words, and then the fonts create the style and the design, and then the imagery and all these things that work together. So yeah. cool. And it, and it can make you the like you said the style and the design and the imagery and it can uh, it can change the whole meaning of a word for how you look at it and what you feel when yeah. you see the word. Yeah, fonts are cool. I love it. I love it. Well, Miss Colleen, thanks so much, and we will see You're you. You're welcome. At the next Good party. to see you. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, it's time for today's clapping with Sibley. What does a dentist do on a roller coaster? He braces himself. <laughs> <laughs> he braces himself. Huh. Hey, guess what? We've got a really cool, that's so cool. It's going to be a mystery one. Ready for today's That's So Cool. Hello, my name is Mr. Furchenberger, and I like pineapples. Today, I'm going to talk to you about brushing your teeth. Look at these pearly whites. So, what you have to do is you have to do it morning and night for two minutes. Time yourself on your phone or on an hourglass. Then you'll have teeth just like mine. Hi, my name is Sir Chinbin. And I will be talking to you about flossing. So, it's really easy. You just take a flosser and you stick it between your teeth and then you wiggle it. Then you wiggle it some more. And then, you're done. So cool. I bet as you were watching that, you were thinking to yourself, not only cool information about teeth and flossing and brushing, but were you thinking about making your own video like that? How did they do it? Do you know? Post a comment if you think you know what happened to make those videos. What were those characters? How would you do it if you were to make your own video like you just saw there? Well, while you're thinking of that, um, you're always welcome to send us videos of cool things you're doing. If you've got something fun you've done or created and you want to share it, email Stephanie at Wimmy.tv. We'd love to see what you're creating, what you're doing. Who knows? It may even inspire an entire episode for us. It just might. Or we'll say, yes, that's so cool. That'll fit perfectly with next week's episode about, right? It's so fun working together, creating this show the team, and you're part of the team, we invite you to be part of the team. Send us what you're thinking, what you're creating, what you're doing. And during the show, ask questions, right? We're here. All right. So right now, 
we want to show you something. Um, Brody, right? You know Brody from the Granville Women's Lab. Check out this photograph. Uh, he recently went to the dentist. Who's he got with him? <laughs> That's little me. So here's a question for you. If you go to the dentist and you might feel unsure or a little, you know, I'm not sure, you know, maybe a little worried, what would you bring with you to help you feel better? Or same thing when you go to the doctor, anywhere, are there special friends that you have that you want to let us know about? Yeah. So if you're scared, who helps you? How do you feel better? So uh, let's see. We are close to the end of the show. And we're going to have our dance party, dance party. We're going to check in, uh, see how Michael's doing. But first, I want to just take a moment and see if there's anything on your mind. Do you have a request? Um, I could sing a song. I'm trying to think if I know any more teeth song. Do you know, know any teeth song? Maybe you could teach us a song. Post the comments. We can look for it later. Uh, let's see. We could do more of the... Um, uh, it's raining, it's pouring, he bumped his head when he went to bed, couldn't get up in the morning. Ba, 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 da, ba. Do, 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 ba, 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 ba. Got more things you do in the morning? Brush your teeth. Nobody said floss. Are you flossers out there? Be sure to floss. See, I'm fortunate, like I said, as a robot. <laughs> you know, I got, um, uh, got the bonus of that, but I got to keep my, my buttons well oiled. Down by the bay! <laughs> Ready? Down by the bay, where I brush my teeth. <laughs> That's just silly. I don't go to the bay to brush my teeth. That would be goofy. But, okay, I need something rhymes with teeth. Okay. Down by the bay, where I brush my teeth. Back to my home. Anything rhymes with teeth? What rhymes with teeth? Um, um, I, beef, beef. Man, is there a rhyme for teeth? I set myself up for this one, didn't I? Sure did. <laughs> oh, your dolphin stuffed animal. Yeah, that was, sorry, Andrus family. That's all I had for down by the bay. Uh, your dolphin stuffed animal. That's awesome. Does your dolphin have a name? Have you named it? We could put, oh, let's put dolphin in down by the bay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine those two comments. Oh, reef. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, it's all coming together. Watch this. Down by the Bay, where I brush my teeth back to my home. I'm gonna stay by the reef. For if I do, my mama will say, Did you ever see a dolphin who wanted to go golfing down by the reef? I could change it to down by the reef. So many possibilities, so many possibilities. So, hey friends, let's go check in with Michael and see. See how he's doing. Maybe he got some fries or something, uh, <laughs> right? No, no. I've uh, I've I've stayed in the uh, the the car. <laughs> okay. Waiting to um to rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> I was having fun. What are you talking about? That was awesome. a lot of. I I thought I'd just go rogue you, a little bit there. <laughs> oh, you did it. Um, did you catch this Colleen's um pointer when she said um something you can sink your teeth into? I did catch that. You caught that too? I, Let's bring her in. Hey, Miss Colleen. <laughs> Michael caught that. I caught it too. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I did. I did. Great fun. I love puns. Awesome. Nice. awesome. Well, great well, show, guys. Is it time to dance? I think so. Should we do it? Hey, we got a spot open for Stephanie to be on the screen. Let's bring in Steph. Let's cue the music. Oh, yeah. Steph's running the show. being with us I'm glad you're here it's fun hanging out we uh we love what we do we love that you are part of it keep dropping my arm i feel i know it is Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District Library and Wimage with additional support by these great partners
weekdays, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time.